Hello friends, welcome to Abhyas Training Institute and in today's video we will be discussing about application control in lab view. Okay, so we will be discussing about this particular things. So in this we will start with uh, references and how we can use them and what is the application of them. So we will discuss about it. So let's start and before we start please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and please share with your friend as well so we will keep making more interesting videos for you and after completing that uh, all the basic thing we will be moving to some advanced feature or we will be creating some interesting application that we will also cover file management system so let's start with this video so let's start with uh, open app reference so i think for now we can skip this one so let's um, I start with open vi reference so i will just put there to here and i will put one while loop that how we are going to work okay and we will create one control over here we will increase the size as well okay so we have our control so what is that open vi reference is used for so you know we have created so many vi we have discussed about property node as well that's why we i have already discussed about the property node if you don't know the property node just please watch that video first so it will be easy to understand that one it's not necessary but it's will be easy for you so let's go to the open reference so like if you have any application or any vi in your local machine or any remote machine right why i am talking about the remote machine we can work with remote machine with uh, open app reference so this is normally used for like remote machine if you are working with okay, so we can use the cp connection with that okay but we are talking about vi reference so we will be talking about the local machine okay so in this vi what we can get we can get the reference of that vi and once we get the reference we can set all the property we can you open sub panel all the stuff from there so this open vi and we also have one more block diagram over there this is the static vi reference so both will give us a reference to the vi that we have in our local system so first let's see that static vi like it will give reference to that vi we will select on that particular block and how we can select that just double click on that one and any uh, vi on the current directory will open so we are having so many vi's we have already discussed about them so let's take uh, paranite to degree centigrade so i have just taken that vi so now you can see uh, we have get the reference to that vi and now what we can do we can go to application and we can go to the property node and we can connect this one now now we can have all the properties of that vi right and we can get the vi name right we can get the vi name and i will just create an indicator so it will give us the vi name right so let me just run it so right you can check the vi name we are getting the vi name so that is what reference means means we will be getting the reference to that vi and we can check all the property and even we can run that we will be using invoke mode as well. We will discuss about it. So we can have the front panel as well. So let me just check it and we will have front panel and we will so we cannot get the front panel right. So we will be using invoke node for that purpose. Right. So we will also have front panel window right. So allow runtime pop up right so what we can do we can set up that runtime pop up what we can do we can convert it to write and we can do control okay let me just run it and once i click on this and we can allow that pop up but for now we don't have that but you can see we are uh, even we are not running that vi form right first we need to run that vi okay so this is how we can set the property I, I will come to that again because once we will be getting the reference to vi most of the time we will be using 
what we will be using we will be using invoke node okay so that is how we can get the reference so let's see how we can get reference from open bi reference so it is also a simple application reference if we are having or we can choose the bi path so let me just open it so first one is a type specifier bi reference or type only so it will be a type so what type like a determine the connector panel information data type of bi reference because it is related to data type okay. then we have an application reference application reference to a lab view application instead by default lab view application calling the bi so we can open another application reference as well but for now it will be using local application right then we are, we are having the bi path as well so we can choose a bi path and we can dynamically choose bi path as well and if we have any password thing then we of definitely we can use that password right so here you can use the password or bi whose reference you want to open if you have any password set it on that bi then we can definitely use that password string right then we will be having bi reference out from there so that means two simple things if you want to work with a like a dynamically you want to open a bi then we will be open using open bi reference otherwise we will be using a static bi reference so let me just bi path i will create a controller here then we can choose a bi from here and choose this one not this one enum bi then we can get the bi reference and we can use property node same thing we can use it right so it will be a dynamically or you can build path you can use uh, application directory means current directory then that's how it is going to work like you even you will you can say now you can use that application reference means so it will refer to a current vi and you can set property of that one as well okay so this is how it's going to work now let's move to another one now we have a closed reference so once we have opened that reference like then we can close that reference so we will be using that so it's a very simple like closing the reference associated to open a vi right so we will be using that as well now we have a create command line so i am not going to discuss it so we all have already covered the property node right so we have already seen how property node works so let's see how that invoke node works. so i am not going to discuss in deep but uh, definitely we are going to discuss it so let's put it in on our code right so what we will do we will try to connect that reference to, to this one okay so it it will be connected so you can see that invoke node has been connected then what we can choose we can choose a method so what is the invoke node actually so invoke method or action on a reference so if we have any reference like that we are talking about reference api right? now the method now what we want to do with that guy right so let me just say choose any method that i want to use with about vi if i want to stop that vi then we can get detect print or i will say i will run that vi okay so we will run that vi and then we will close that vi reference okay so let's run that so you can see if i click double click on this one so that vi has been running and it will not going to stop so yeah it's not going to stop because we have not set it any property okay so this is how it can mess like if you don't set all the invoke property that you are going to use so you can stuck over here right so i think yeah we need to restart our lab view for this one so let me restart yeah i was expecting that error no issue i just wanted to show you how you can. okay so why it is happening because we also have for loop in that one right so it is continuously running and running <coughs> okay so let's end that one okay recover all yeah let's press ctrl t now we are having this one so now you know we know how that going to mess with our code so we will not be running that for now right 
Mm, but what we can do, we can go to this one and we can modify that code, right? So, that, so I think you know how we can run that, right? Now we have another property as well. Revert vi vi icon if you want to see a vi string import export we want to do. So that is how or like if we have a print panel then we can say open right if that vi is there and we want to open the print panel right so let me create control for those as well those property and let's see how that works so we need to stop it let's select active so again we are getting that I think let's delete this one let's try to run it so once you will run it you can see the print panel of that particular vi reference right so that is and once we will and then we can close it so i think again we are not able to close it Okay, we can stop right even if we are not able to close we can means we can stop it from here so we are able to stop it so we need to set the property like when we want to see the open the print panel and if we have open that print panel we should have something like a stop button over here so we can stop so this is how that uh, is going to work then what we have we can set the default value and we can have the control wall like we can clean up that control diagram block sorry block diagram and we can get scaled image as well so this is how we can work with the invoke node right so let's see the another now we have a call by reference so let's see how that works so now you see what we were doing we are we were trying to run that and we stuck right so what is the solution for that so we have another thing that we can use here like call by reference right so what that call by reference to it's on control h so it's called the specific vi reference okay but it will it should be strictly type vi reference right and it can run that vi okay so let's try to connect them then you can see that error because it's not a strict type so let's right click on that one and strictly type vi reference okay now we are able to make a connection so let me run this code again now what we are trying to do we are run, trying to run that so if you will open it now you can see like that vi is running in back end right so let me stop it so this is how call by reference works so we can have a vi reference and we can run that vi okay and we can set the property of that sub vi right open front panel or anything so we can set the properties as well like we will be having a reference how we can use invoke property node to open that front panel of that particular behavior you need to use all of them together to build up very good or perfect ui right now next will be our call by reference is done i will not be talking about synchronous and then what we are having we are having a vi server reference so what that will specify that will return a reference of our current uh, vi right so it will be our current vi and we can set the property right so what we can do we can go there we can have the property node and we can set the property of our current like if we want we want to set the size of our front panel that should be open automatically when anyone is doing that vi and anything any property that we want to open it right so this is how that this vi is means this vi is means current reference uh, reference of current thing, right then we have drag and drop data i am not going to talk about then we have a stop so stop means we are having the stop button over here we are having the stop button over here and this is the stop button means before adopting any vi we can uh, stop our 
vi from running so that is how stop is going to work and we are having quit lab view so it's simple like it will close our lab view and then what we have i'm not going to talk about them now we have the cpu information as well like if you want to see the cpu information per system like you want to see the graphical processor that you have for per processor so we can see all the information related to our processors right so i am having a logical processor pro six core processor okay right so we can have that information then what we are having here so this is related to cpu information even we can have the yeah memory control we can get the not this one talk about camera cpu information yeah we can have that and we can have the memory status as well right we can get the memory status if we want yeah then but as we are having uh, this is related to related so we are and if we want to replace anything then we are having a application builder we can build application and deploy things so this is a separate topic and we will talk about that later so that's all what we wanted to talk in that video it's most of that related to reference right how we can get the reference